Gaslighting Freedom In the campaign of achieving human dominance and control, there is an exploitable error of perception within all of us. This exploitable error is the illusion that objective reality is separate from subjective experience. The illusion of objective reality is very convincing, made so because of the persistence in time, our bodily senses, and the assigned language creating meaning around everything, culminating our beliefs of what is real and not real. The objectivists proclaim that what is real is what we can see and touch, and here is where the gaslighting begins. As children, we are indoctrinated into this world by definitions of things as they are presented by our parents. The first correction is usually about the child's imagination. I vividly remember when I was about three years old talking to a crow in the front yard. The crow said my name and asked how I was doing. I later told my mom about this and she immediately said, You were imagining that crows don't talk. Although I could remember the crow talking, my mom's declaration made me question whether or not I experienced what I thought I had experienced. A few days later, I saw that same crow in the front yard. I started walking toward it. It squawked and flew away. Well, maybe I did just imagine that, I said to myself. From that day forward, I never heard a crow talk. There are thousands of examples of people having similar experiences that are relegated to superstition, misperception, or delusion. My Irish granddad, for the entire time I knew him, insisted on the existence of leprechauns. He'd say, they exist, I've seen them. Now, he was a college president with multiple doctorates, so if anyone would have been objective, it would have been him. To this day, he's been an inspiration to me precisely because he stuck with the reality of his own experience. There are mounds upon mounds of legends and myths about our world relegated to a scrap heap of falsehoods and conspiracies that, if accepted, would immediately expose the gaslighters who decided such topics had to be hidden in order to profit from them. The entire disclosure movement, for example, is a reclaiming of personal experiences of extraterrestrial life. Exposure of these types of experiences would severely hinder the controllers in their quests for power and control, and so well-funded disinfo campaigns and false narratives are foisted on the already reality-compromised public. Our experience is what is real. The gaslighters of the world would tell you that what you think is happening is not what's really going on, and eventually we all submit to the facts of life as assigned to us by these controllers. If our direct experience doesn't follow the factual narrative of acceptable reality, we are corrected by a merciless barrage of denials, condescension, mockery, imprisonment, and at times even physical assault. Pretty quickly as children we learn that our imagination is disconnected from the reality our parents force on us. How we experience the world gets recontextualized through their definitions and translations. This creates the illusion of out there and in here, the cleaving of objective and subjective reality, the ideal environment for the gaslighters. The remedy for gaslighting is reframing. We reframe by choosing what to believe about our direct experiences and not deferring to the accepted and approved narratives. In fact, it is our superpower of choice that creates what experience we prefer. Channel teacher Bashar, in his talk about the parallel worlds, says, There is no out there. That's the illusion. It's all here. It's all now. What we choose to experience takes us to that world where that experience is happening, because it is our choices that determine the frequency of our experience within that parallel universe. Change the frequency, switch universes. Ultimately, this goes far beyond reframing and recontextualizing into universal creation. As Alan Watts has said, What you do is what the whole universe is doing at the place you call here and now. You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave 
is something that the whole ocean is doing. The real deep down you is the whole universe. There is no experience we do not create. Sometimes we deny responsibility when our experiences are negative, but deep, deep down, far, far in, we know on some level we've created and create everything we experience. When a controlled populace begins to wake up to this fact of existence, such tricks of the senses as gaslighting cease to have an effect. Even the merest possibility of our universal creation rips away the veils carefully put in place by controllers. We choose to see the truth. We choose to see our own experience. This is where total freedom is found. It is our freedom to choose the best and the highest life we can imagine. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com